Welcome to Easy Physiology and Research Pro. Today, we unravel the powerhouse tools of evidence-based medicine, systematic review and meta-analysis. Check the first comment below, we've linked our exclusive videos on types of articles and original research designs to boost your understanding before diving into this advanced content. Why does evidence matter? Because every clinical decision should stand on solid ground. At the apex of this evidence pyramid lie systematic reviews and meta-analyses. These tools don't just summarize research. They shape healthcare decisions and global policy. By the end of this precise, highly beneficial tutorial, you will be able to clearly differentiate systematic reviews from meta-analyses, master their step-by-step -step methodology, know when to apply each, and confidently interpret their outcomes in scientific practice. So, concentrate. Here you can see the hierarchy of evidence. Picture this. A pyramid of scientific truth. At the very top we have meta-analyses, followed by systematic reviews. Below them, randomized trials, cohort studies, and case reports. Today, we're decoding the summit of certainty. So, what is a systematic review? It's not just a literature review. A systematic review is a rigorous, protocol-driven search for all relevant studies on a focused question. It uses explicit methods to eliminate bias, ensure reproducibility, and provide an authoritative synthesis. And now, what is a meta-analysis? Meta-analysis takes things further. It statistically combines results from multiple studies to compute one definitive effect size. It transforms individual data points into a singular, powerful answer. When done right. Think of it this way. A systematic review is your comprehensive search engine. A meta-analysis is your scientific calculator. One finds and narrates, the other quantifies and consolidates. Both work in harmony, but serve distinct purposes. When is meta-analysis performed? You can only pool data when it makes sense. Meta-analyses require homogeneity, similar populations, outcomes, and methodologies. Without this compatibility, combining studies can distort, not clarify, the truth. Know the steps in systematic review. Start with a clear PICO question. Register your protocol to Prospero. Search multiple databases. Apply inclusion criteria, extract data, assess bias, and synthesize results. Follow Prisma, and you're on track to produce gold standard science. Next, let us know the steps in meta-analysis. Now the math begins. First, we need to calculate the effect sizes for each study. Decide your model, whether it is fixed or random. Assess heterogeneity using I-squared. Combine results, evaluate publication bias, and then conduct sensitivity analysis to ensure robustness. You can better understand systematic review with an example. Okay. Take a study on lifestyle interventions and PCOS. We screened 15 RCTs, narratively summarized the findings, but did not pull the data. This is a textbook example of a high-quality systematic review, without a meta-analysis. Let's turn to numbers. In a meta-analysis of 12 studies, we found a pooled odds ratio of 1.75. That means, Women with higher BMI had significantly greater odds of having PCOS. The confidence interval was tight. 1.4 to 2.1 thus showing reliability. Look at the forest plot again. Each square is a study, each line a confidence interval. Note that larger squares mean more weight. And that black diamond at the bottom? That's our pooled estimate, which is bold, precise, and statistically significant. This is evidence at its peak. Is there bias? The funnel plot helps us find out. If the plot looks symmetrical, you're safe. If not, publication bias may be distorting the conclusions. It's a vital checkpoint for any credible meta-analysis. Tech to the rescue. You can use Rayan, Covidence, and Zotero for systematic reviews. For meta-analysis, RevMan, Stata, and R packages like Metaphor give you robust statistical strength. Know your tools. 
use them wisely. Check our power-packed video on different statistical tools, SPSS and beyond. And keep it in mind. Don't trust every review. Use Amstar 2 to assess systematic quality. Apply the grade approach to judge evidence certainty. For individual studies, use ROB2 or the Newcastle Ottawa scale. Rigor is definitely non-negotiable. To talk about the reporting guidelines, we would say that PRISMA is your checklist for transparent, reproducible systematic reviews. For observational meta-analyses, follow Moose. These aren't optional, they are the foundation of credible scientific reporting. Come on, even peak evidence has pitfalls. Heterogeneity, bias, incomplete data, and overinterpretation. As a researcher, your job is to report clearly, analyze cautiously, and interpret with humility. Well, these are our take-home messages. Systematic reviews and meta-analyses are pillars of evidence-based medicine. Use them when needed, master them with precision, but always approach them with a scientist's critical eye and ethical responsibility. If you found this helpful, subscribe to Easy Physiology and Research Pro. Drop your questions or suggest the next research topic in the comments. Check our highly informative shorts on detailed steps of systematic review, and the myth bursters on original and review article. Let's grow together.